like that would be. Oh, yeah. for sure. It was a great day to look out the windows here in, in Baltimore today. Absolutely. Yeah, gorgeous day today. Of course, we had the snow on Saturday. We had a little bit of sun yesterday, more sun today, and more is on the way here for tomorrow. And really, the big story this week will be the continuation of the nice weather and getting a little warmer here, especially as we get towards midweek. The real warm up, though, is coming next week, which we'll show you here in just a few minutes. Let's get right to your forecast. Starting off with our radar tonight, we are dry, and this is what we're watching as we go through the overnight hours. We're going to be looking at a chilly, clear sky here across the area, but tomorrow, through Wednesday, pretty nice, quiet stretch. It's about time we talked about some quiet weather for a change. But it does look like our next opportunity for rain will come in later Thursday, Thursday night, and Friday. So we're going to have some showers to contend with here through the latter part of the week. No snow, and it looks like the rain that does occur is going to be light. So nothing too significant. But the good news is the sunshine is going to return to the forecast here for this weekend. Temps overnight tonight falling into the mid 20s with a light east wind. Most areas, though, into low 30s and upper 20s right now. So, a little bit cooler here overnight tonight. Here's a look at your future cast. Other than a couple of clouds tomorrow, weather looks like it's going to be just fine. Again, highs expected to reach the mid to upper 40s across the area. It will be some low 40s as well. And then for Wednesday, it looks like we stay dry with a few more clouds. But then notice by Thursday afternoon, the clouds will thicken. We've got some rain moving into western Maryland, and we'll be dealing with a few light showers for. Uh, really the entire area Thursday evening, Thursday night, and into your Friday. Now let's talk about the weather pattern heading into next week. Now it looks like that cool down that we were talking about for the weekend. There it is right there. You can see the dip in the jet stream, the winds coming out of the northwest, bringing the cooler air down. Watch what happens to the arrow as we go into next week. We get more of a southwest flow in the upper atmosphere. That's through the middle of next week. What that's going to do is pull all the warm air down here and drag it right up towards the mid Atlantic. Uh, we're talking about temperatures running well above average. And notice here the eight to 14 day outlook showing temperatures for much of the central and e eastern U.S. much above average. What are we talking about here? Average high, mid to upper 40s. Here's the warm up here through the middle part of the week, big brief drop into the weekend. And then look at this highs in the 60s, well into the 60s, especially by Tuesday into Wednesday, as that pattern does begin to change here across our area. So that's something to look forward to in the next week. So here's your first alert seven day forecast. Again, tomorrow, partly cloudy, high of around 47, near 50 on Wednesday, staying dry, and then the rain isn't moving until later Thursday. Again, Thursday night into Friday, just some periods of showers across the area, nothing too significant. Weekend looks good, and then our first 60 degree high temperature showing up next Monday. Back to you guys. All right, Derek, thank you very much. For more first alert weather and updated news, check in with Cena Gabber Ab, Tim Williams, and Meg McNamara tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4 30.